Here's the latest on the pandemic. The U.S. is now averaging more than 2,700 COVID-19 related deaths every day and health care systems are overwhelmed. ABC's Rena Roy now with the latest. While many hoped for a fresh start in the new year, COVID-19 had other plans. In the first week of 2021, the U.S. reported more coronavirus cases than any other point in the pandemic, with more than 1.5 million over the last seven days. That means nearly 156 Americans are testing positive every minute. Dr. Anthony Fauci speaking on NPR. We believe things will get worse as we get into January. Thursday marking the deadliest day on record, with more than 4,000 people dying from the virus, according to Johns Hopkins University. We're seeing all kinds of people, all ages, all demographics. COVID has not stopped in touching anybody. LA County, California hit especially hard. We're treading water every morning. My first text message is about how many beds we have in the hospital, um, you know, what capacity we have. Meantime, vaccine rollouts are sputtering along. The CDC reports nearly 6 million doses have been administered, far fewer than the projected 20 million by the end of 2020. The Dobson brothers, both over 75, camping out to get the shot in Tennessee. I've lost three close relatives to COVID. Roseland Community Hospital in Chicago kicking off an awareness campaign with Reverend Jesse Jackson getting vaccinated to encourage the elderly and minority communities to do the same. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. As for the latest case numbers in Kansas and Missouri, the Missouri rolling average at 2700 today in Kansas, 5500 new cases are being reported since Wednesday. The Kansas positivity rate is falling for now to just above 13%. Missouri's rate is under 20% of COVID tests coming back positive. The World Health Organization wants that number at 10% or below. The president elect wants to release every available vaccine dose when he takes office. Right now, the federal government is holding back half of the country's vaccine production to make sure that second doses are available. This week, the FDA emphasized the importance of people getting their second shot at a specific time. EMTs in Missouri are now in the first priority group to get the vaccine. Truman Medical Center's University Health gave the first doses to 200 Kansas City area EMTs today. Another 400 will get their shot next week. First responders tell us they try to avoid getting COVID-19, but it can be hard. I know what the EMS uh, folks do and what they encounter, and so they're very much frontline with our patients. Anything we can do to kind of increase our survivability on a day in and day out basis is, uh, is a good thing for us. The health system is working with 20 providers to help get more people vaccinated. The University of Kansas Health System is ramping up its vaccination program. The push is on to vaccinate all staffers, moving from giving 600 shots a day to almost 2,000 just yesterday. Doctors say about 70% of staff members are accepting the vaccine. Employees are not required to get one. And doctors there want to set the record straight. They understand that some people will be able to get their shots before members of their family. A viewer asked if they had to isolate from family after getting the vaccine. Health experts say no, but they also say you need to be careful. You still need to participate in infection control um, pillars, uh, such as wearing a mask in public, you know, making sure you're doing good hand hygiene, and then following any public health guideline um, that is given to a family member based off exposure or um, isolation needs, anything like that. Doctors stress the vaccine can't give you the coronavirus, but it will help you build antibodies to fight it off.